Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me. I'm about to go to a huge photo shoot. I'll be doing some vlogs and stuff like that, so keep an eye on that for Friday. And I thought I'd do a get ready with me and kind of get to know me because I feel like I've been on YouTube for a while and you guys really don't know much about me except that my husband was in the military, I have three dogs and one of them's sick. So I thought I'd kind of let you in a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing is I'm obsessed with Diet Cokes. I love Diet Cokes. I only like to drink it in the little can and I don't like it in a bottle at all. As soon as this gets a little flat or a little warm, I can't, I have to ditch it. I love it when it hurts. The other thing is I'm like an addict. Like I'll go in the garage and open it so that my husband doesn't hear it. I'm terrible. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Brighten Up Peel Pads. These are great because it takes off any extra dirt and grime that you might have left over. Like I did wash my face earlier this morning, but every time I use this, I feel like it takes off a little bit more than my facial wash. So I'm a little obsessed with those little peel pads. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do here I'm going to use my It Cosmetics. This is a confidence in a cream. Now, I guess I should start off with my husband. That man is the love of my life. He is an amazing husband. I am so blessed to have him. We have been together like 10 years. And every time people meet us, they ask how long we've been together because it's like we just met. And everything is always fun. He makes me laugh every single day we get along really really well which is some people think it's kind of weird but i think it's because we got to know each other before physical stuff like he was i met him online like i said and he was in north dakota so we talked a lot and because he was in the military and deployed and stuff we learned how to communicate we don't fight about money or anything like that we're very respectful, you know, so we have like a really, really nice relationship. So this is a Ole Hendrickson banana eye cream. And I tell him not to leave me on a daily basis because I'm not a hot mess. Like I'm never late for work. I always do what I'm supposed to do. I'm a very hard worker. I'll help anybody out when I can. But the thing is that as I get older, I can't remember stuff. I'm terrible with computers. I'm so horrible with computers. What I was gonna say about this Ole Hendrickson, I really like this because I have really dry under eyes. This keeps everything nice and hydrated and bright. The foundation lays nicely on top of it. I don't get creasing or crackling or any dry, you know, sometimes when you're dry, your foundation sticks to certain areas and this never happens when I use this. So I really do like this a lot. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use is my Wet n Wild um, foundation stick. I like this because it's light. It's a medium coverage. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. It's very skin like. So I really like this. So as I was saying about my husband, so he's just an amazing man. He takes care of everything. I'm probably repeating myself too. Um, I'm really bad with computers and cell phones and you know, he's always taking care of everything like that for me. Now, he was in the military for 23 years. We met online. He was in North Dakota at the time. And um, now I'm going to use a little brush from Amazon. We talked for like three months and then he actually came to visit me. And then he informed me that he was going to uh, Korea for about a year. And I'm like, well, heck, we're never going to, where is this going to go if he's, gonna be leaving because you know let's face it sometimes men I mean women too sometimes they don't do what they say they're gonna do and my husband has always said everything he was going to do and you know I'm very lucky like that so we started talking when he left to Korea he called me constantly we texted when he arrived in Korea he called me and texted me we kept you know in touch the entire time I didn't have a computer at the time because I'm a bad fiend. Like, I love bougie bags. I love buying them. So I actually was on my way to get a computer from the Apple store at the mall. What the heck? And um, I went into Neiman Marcus instead. And let's just say I walked out with the Prada bag instead of buying the computer. Luckily, he thought that was funny. And he sent me a computer. So he sent me a computer set up for Skype. So we would Skype every day for the holidays. We'd Skype, you know, Thanksgiving, I cooked dinner with him there. 
for um, Christmas, we Skype, I sent him a Christmas tree and I was constantly sending him things. So we were always Skyping. So after like about six months of being in Korea, he actually flew me to Korea and I stayed there for like three weeks. At that time, we knew we were gonna get married and live together. It was very strange. Now, I'm using my e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I think that's what it's called, I'm not wearing my glasses. So anyway, you know, all of a sudden we're buying a house online in Korea and I'm moving to this house. I'm leaving 15 years of work in Florida to go move to North Carolina where he was gonna be stationed at Fort Bragg so that we could buy a house and I was gonna live in it until he got here. It was the craziest thing I've ever, ever done. And I did it. I literally packed up a U-Haul, packed up everything I owned, put my car in a little hitch and drove to North Carolina. He came and it was kind of weird at first cause I was in the house before him, you know? So, but we made it happen. And 10 years later, that man is still around. He is so much fun. He makes me laugh. He's so thoughtful. He's so giving. He is just, so much fun to hang out with. He could work his butt off and he can lay around and watch Hallmark movies with me all day long. He cooks for me, I cook for him. He cooks three times a, a week for me and I cook the rest of the time. And he's just, he's just so awesome. So I have a stepson also. He is going to be 18 years old and he looks like his dad and a little brown virgin. Like my husband has dirty blonde hair and seafoam green eyes. Now I'm gonna use my Fenty powder to kind of set underneath. He has brown hair and brown eyes and he's really cute. My husband's very chiseled and so is my stepson. And then we have three dogs, Luke and Nina and Stella. And Nina is adopted, no, Stella is adopted. She's a pit. We got her when she was stage three in heartworm. She was really skinny. She was a mess. And whenever I adopt a dog, I like to get the one that's the biggest mess because I feel like nobody's going to want them. So I like to adopt them. And we got Stella and thankfully it worked out because sometimes I keep adopting animals that we did and they, they don't make it. But Stella made it. So I'm very happy about that. So we're going to adopt another dog from the high kill shelter. But I can't go to it because it would kill me to see all those animals. So I can't, so my husband's gonna go and pick one out. And oh my God, this powder is really getting to my nose. Okay, so I'm done with that powder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna use this little bronzer right here. So anyway, we have three animals. I know I'm probably rambling because I get distracted easily. So we have three animals, we're gonna get another one. My Luke, as you know, has cancer. He has bladder cancer. I'm crazy all the time because I don't know what to expect when I wake up in the morning. He has bladder cancer and he, he changes daily, but so far he's good. So that stress is, and that's probably why I'm all over the place right now. I don't know how to deal with stress when it comes to animals. I'm really bad. Like my friends could tell me that their animal is dying or sick and I can't handle it. And I'm a hot mess. I, it, it really, really affects me. So I don't like to know about it. So Luke, yesterday we had a bad day. He's fine now, but we had a bad day and I couldn't function. I couldn't sleep. So Mondays are hard for me because, you know, I don't, I'm going through some stuff. And Mondays I'm usually uploading a little bit later, but I'm trying to get them out there. So my videos are gonna be all over the place just because of all the stuff I'm going through right now and the stress. So anyway, so Luke is doing okay. He's, he's the same. Yesterday he just had a little bad day. So I'm gonna just do a nice and natural look because I'm gonna be working a lot and I don't wanna have a ton of makeup on. Okay, so we have a Hot Mama by The Bomb. I love this. It's almost like um, NARS orgasm. Okay, so that's it about the husband. Now, I've been doing makeup for 20 something years. I do hair also. You could show me a picture and I could pretty much do it. I didn't go to hair school or anything, but for some reason I just could do hair. And I've been doing makeup for 20 something years, like I said. I've been, I knew when I was five years old that I was going to do makeup. I just knew it. And I used to take the makeup off my Barbies and redo it with my mother's Maybelline pencils and, and nail polishes and stuff like that. And I would also do my Barbies hair. 
So I was constantly practicing. So I knew this is what I was going to do from a very young age. And I worked my butt off to get to, you know, to do things that I wanted to do. Like I had a little bucket list. I wanted to live in New York. I went and moved to New York. I've always wanted to do fashion week and work with celebrity makeup people. And I did do that. I didn't stay in New York long just because it wasn't kind of the lifestyle that I wanted. I'm not a mingly type of person. I just want to do my own thing. And then I just want to go home. I'm not good at like, I'm an introvert. I'm really good at work. You know, like talking to people, but if you take me to a party, I'm the one in the corner because I don't know how to really have small talk with people. So I'm really, really bad at that. So I didn't want to go to all these parties and mingle and stuff like that. I didn't do it when I lived in LA. It's just not me. I just want to do my own thing and then I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home and lay on the sofa and watch Little House on the Prairie with my husband. So I just like everything really nice and simple. You know, so I lived in New York for about a year and then I decided I wanted to come home because I kind of did stuff like in my bucket list, like I said. So once I was done with that, I was kind of done. And then my husband and I, at some point, got moved to California like four years ago because I've been in Flo back in Florida for four years. And then, um, you know, I started working with this great photographer who actually used to live in Florida and now he's huge in Cal in LA in Vegas. He does like Maxim FHM. He does all like the big Instagram girls that have like Emily Sears and Vivian Kendall, all these girls that have like millions of followers and Abigail Ratchard and all these people. So when I moved to California, I started working with him in Vegas. So I would drive from the post, the army post to Vegas you know, and work with him. And I did that for like two, no, one year because I left early, a year early to come back to Florida because my husband was gonna retire and I needed to get things going for him when he got home because I knew it was gonna be like a hard thing for him to leave the military. And I didn't want him to come home and, you know, look for a place to live with me and all that stuff. I wanted him to just come to a place and be at home and that's it. So that's why I came a year earlier because I would do anything to make my husband comfortable. I always get emotional because I know that he's been through a lot. And I'm not going to cry. I cry all the time. Like, I'll go buy an army post and I get emotional. But, you know, my my whole thing is just my husband. He's like my life. And anyway, so I'm going to stop crying now. So, yeah, so we came and he's comfortable. He went to, well, he was home for like two, three weeks. He was bored out of his mind. I liked it because he was cooking and cleaning. But he got bored, went to school, went to IT work. or to I, He went to school to do IT work. And so that's what he does now. And then we decided to buy a house because we wanted some roots. We wanted just to have like our own place. We got tired of renting and moving and all that stuff. But now that we have a new house, I want to leave. Isn't that terrible? So I'm going to be using my Snap Scara now. So yeah, so now we're settled in this new house. We've been here for about a year. He picked up the house and the style house. I wanted him to be able to do that because he's never really been able to pick anything out. So he said he would do whatever I wanted to the inside. So that poor guy, he's very handy, by the way. My husband's incredibly smart. He's very handy. He knows how to fix cars. He knows how to build houses. He knows how to put the flooring down. He knows how to do pretty much everything. He's amazing. So he's fixing the new house for me. And then I'm trying to convince him once the whole neighborhood built, because we're in a cookie cutter neighborhood. It's really cute. But I want a farmhouse. I'm not into living in like this type of neighborhoods. I want land because I want a cow and I want goats and stuff. So I'm trying to convince him that once everything builds up in the house, we can make enough money so that we could just go back to North Carolina because North Carolina is like home for me. It feels like home. You know how you first walk into a house you're trying to buy? It doesn't feel like home or anything. The minute you walk into another one, you feel like that's it. Well, North Carolina is it for me. I want to go back to North Carolina. My plan is to some what retire from makeup is what I want to do. And I want to own my own wedding venue. So that is next on the bucket list. Once we get this house going, 
I want to have my own wedding venue and I want to really do it in North Carolina. But if my husband, I'm letting him have that decision because like I said, he really didn't get to do a lot of decisions back in the day, you know, because he was in the military and he just, you know, didn't really get a lot of choices. So I'm letting him have that opportunity of being able to pick where he wants to live and and what house and stuff like that. Because wherever we're at, as long as we're together, that's all that really matters to me. But my dream is to have a farmhouse with land and goats <laughs> and a wedding venue. So he's not opposed to that. He's all about that, but he still hasn't decided if he wants to do it here or over there. So that's what's going on right now. So now I'm going to go into this little bloom and blush guy here that I'm like obsessed with. I like it because everything is pretty much in one little palette. I like to get this little Lexi brush and then I like to kind of dip it in here. And then I'm going to put a little bit more product because I'm going to be doing just like a simple makeup look. But I want to look like dewy and with a little color on the cheeks and on my lips. So now I'm going to go ahead and dip into these two colors right here. And I'm just going to add that to that little rosy color I just added or cranberry color. All right. Now I'm going to go into my Ofra. I love this thing right here. I'm going to dip into both of these colors right here. So anyway, what else? What else is going on with me? I told you about the dogs. I told you about the house. I told you that I want to have a venue. Mm. What else? I think that's it for now. I don't know. I can't really remember. Oh. I told you about my anxiety. I don't like to hear people's animals. And let me tell you, there's a turtle out there. I'm about to bring him home because that little guy, every time I drive home, there's a little turtle that likes to kind of like walk in the middle of the street. He's a very naughty turtle. I see him going to cross. I'm like, oh my God, he's going to get smushed. I have to pull over and I have to grab that little thing that I'm scared to death of. And I have to stick. And one time I almost made him fall in the ditch, which I think I did last time because I haven't seen him. But I'm telling you, almost every day for a week, I had to rescue this turtle. <clears throat> now I'm going to use a try. What is this called? And that's another thing. I don't have, I'm kind of blind. Tree stick? Tree stick? Okay, so... You're always seeing me complain about my glasses. I'm trying to behave. I lost my glasses. I don't know where I put them. They're my Prada glasses and they're so freaking cute. So I've been so busy that I have not been able to go get my eyes checked so I could get another set of glasses. So my friend Chris said the ones you see in my vlog, she has like a million of these readers. And then I went and picked some up at the dollar store too. But I always pick up the wrong ones. So I have readers everywhere and i'm always fighting with them now i did try contacts but i'm thinking that it's my eye i'm not very good at putting them in it takes me like freaking half an hour to put them in and then it takes me another hour to take them out i don't like touching my eye so i'm thinking i might scratch my eye with my little nails here and then i'll be blind so this is what's going through my head so now i don't have contacts so you see me constantly looking and fighting for these things all the time and then I have this mirror because it's the only mirror that I could do when I do like my eye tutorials. I can only see my eyes with this mirror. So I'm constantly going back and forth. Okay. I think that's it for now. I think that's all I could tell you right now because I can't remember anything else. So today, like I was saying, we have a huge shoot. We have a beautiful girl coming in. I'm very, very excited about it. I have no idea where my eyeliner is because I don't know where I put it. That's another thing. At work, super, super, super organized. When it comes to my stuff at home, you see my vlogs, my house is a mess. I try to clean it up, but my husband and I are like two children and the pit, Stella, makes a mess everywhere. So we clean up all the time and then somehow we manage to make the biggest messes all over the place. All right, so we have the Dewey Set by Anastasia Beverly Hills that I really like. I guess I'm going to go to work with that eyeliner because I have no idea where it's at. Then I have to go in. Oh, that tastes bad too. I have to go in and just kind of mush everything in. And that's it. Now I'm going to go eat my vegetarian hot dogs. 
I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't eat a lot of meat. Like we do HelloFresh and my husband gets me some dishes that are vegetarian, but he's a meat and potato kind of guy. So I'll eat some meat, but not a lot. But if I go out to a restaurant, I don't order it. I don't like to cook it and then eat it. And I just mainly pretty much carry vegetarian meat in the house for myself, except for my husband. So literally when I cook, I'll make two different meals, one for me and one for him, which I don't mind. You know, no big deal. Anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye.